Hey, my friend, on this episode of Cap Story Fun, Hasbro was so cool to send me hashtag free item, free promo, free toys, these amazing new Transformer Bumblebee Cyber Reverse Adventure f massive figures, right? We have the big Bumblebee and the big Optimus Prime. We're going to unbox them, we're going to transform them, we're going to check them out, and you're gonna we're going to find out which one is my personal favorite. So you stick around, because you're not going to want to miss it. Okay, let's see happen. More happen. Let's start opening these brand new Transformer Cyber Reverse Adventure toys. Thank you, Hasbro. Toys fun! Toys rule! Okay, my friends, so for this guy, this is the Transformers Bumblebee Cyber vs. Avengers Optimus Prime figure. This guy's about 12 inches. This is awesome. I mean, look, look at my hand. This guy's huge, right? Has lights and sounds. Press him right here. Oh, this button right here, I'm sorry. What? Hey, Prime, you're not talking to me. What's going on? Okay, we'll have to fix that. Comes with these awesome weapons. Pretty sweet. Part of the Dinobots Unite line. And check out my other video. Like I said, I will have uh, that in there. Or, well, I'll be doing another video that, because I, I Hasbro sent me some more um, of these guys for free. Okay, so Optimus Prime, Noble Leader. That's his function. And pretty just besides being my favorite Transformer of all time. Cool, with lights up. Got 10 phrases. Comes with his awesome sword. This Dinobot kind of armor. Or Energon armor. Lights up. Hopefully we'll get to fix that. Converts 12 easy steps from truck to uh, transformer mode, or robot mode. And he, that looks awesome, man. It's so cool. Okay, let's see happen, more happen. Let's unbox them. Okay guys, so here is the Optimus Prime figure unbox. Pretty sweet. I do have to say one thing that I'm not too thrilled about is that it looks like I was sent a broken, um, broken toy of this, broken version. Because you can see it's kind of all bent and the sounds don't work. I just get that, so I can't do any of the sound, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, but overall, not bad. Pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go through some Transform right now. It comes with an uh, instruction manual, and then these four awesome accessories, right? So, kind of piece of plastic here. You can kind of put this, put that right there. That pops on. Um, this guy goes in these slits here and here, on either side. Let's pop that guy in like, like so. See. Oh, maybe I got in the wrong one. Let's see. There we go. Sorry, guys. Had the wrong hand. And then this guy. The other one. Boom. Okay. It's pretty sweet. And then the sword goes right in there. Now, the cool thing about his sword, and again, you know, it's got some articulation here. Stuff like that. Arms move. And kind of move them down like that and go, psh, psh, right the cool thing about this sword though what i like um overall is that you can store it in a couple different places so if you don't want him to hold it there's a peg right here and then you can either put it on this side so it's kind of like behind him right or you can put it on this side too like that and the cool thing is once you transform them there is a slot right here that it goes into, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty sweet. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's transform them. Take these guys off. Let's pop them off like so. I, I found it easier if you if you kind of get it from the back. It can stick. There you go. And then this guy. Let's pop right off. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. So the one thing is when I was transforming before, um, you know, obviously the instruction manual, uh, the one thing when I was transforming him before this, be careful because you can pinch yourself when you when you pop him back like this. I did this when I was transforming him and it hurt. <laughs> so, but what you want to do is basically you want to move his head like so. Move that. That'll hold the head in place. Move the other arm. Boom, boom, boom. These guys go like this. And then these. Oh, actually, you know what? Sorry, guys. Screwed up. Hold on. It's up like this. Boom, boom, boom. The, arm, the legs there's, comes apart into two different pieces. And then they go around like that. You gotta do that before you get the arms in. Okay. And then these guys will lock in place. There you go. Cool. Make sure, make sure you get everything. There's a locking mechanism right there, the red thing. Wanna get those guys in together. Cool. And then you just kind of get his head back, pull the head back in by moving the arms back. 
right? Move that up. Move that up. And these transform. The only thing is this one, for some reason, doesn't want to stay for me. But again, the cool thing is then you can just pop his sword right in here. Right? And there you go. There he is. Front. Side. Back. He kind of doesn't really roll that much. Unfortunately, I think this gets caught, but <clears throat> overall not a bad figure. <clears throat> I mean, I'm bummed I can't, you know, you see how the, my sound effects don't work. So if you guys go to the store, make sure your parents uh, test the sound, press the button to make sure it works. So, but overall, and then just transform back, pop out the sword, pop out the arms. Oh, man, this thing is a tough cookie. There you go. Those things just come apart pretty easily. This arm has got stuck for some reason. There we go. Okay, cool. Move that around like so. Pop him up. Now watch your fingers here because this, man, I've gotten pinched by this. And it definitely hurt. <laughs> These guys go in the front. Lock in place. And there you go. Pretty cool. Overall, it's not bad. I mean, like I said, I'm not that happy that I got sent a bum one, but overall, it will definitely be cool in my Optimus Prime collection. Okay, so there you have it. There is the Transformers or Bumblebee, Subverse Adventures, huge Optimus Prime figure. Cool, let's do our next one. Okay, my friends, and now for the next one, we have the Transformers, Bumblebee, Subverse Adventures, Adventures, Bumblebee, like 12 inch figure. He's got sounds as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like he transforms car and into this. And again, this is part of the Dinobots Unite series. And also, I'm gonna do another video. Uh, they sent me, Hasbro sent me some more of these as well. So I'm gonna check out my other video that's coming up for that as well. Um, Bumblebee has 10 sounds. He is a courageous scout. Pretty cool, looks like it lights up over there, lights up over here. He's got this cool armor, converts from robot to transformer in eight uh, steps. I'm sorry, car to transformer in eight steps. Cool, okay, let's unbox them. Okay guys, so here is the Bumblebee figure. This guy's not bad, pretty cool. This one uh, actually works with the sound effects. So you know, his arms move. And he's very sensitive sound, so if you kind of like, <laughs> he has to hear Autobot, it's like, it's like enough, buddy. Here, let's play some sounds for you. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So arms move. Yeah, this is this is really annoying. I wish I could disconnect this. He's gonna be saying that a lot. Uh, battery pack is back here, so in case your parents have to change the batteries. Comes with these awesome uh, accessories here. Just have to kind of push these up. That gets really annoying really fast. I have to be honest, guys. Sword goes here in his hand, which is kind of cool. He's got his armor. And these guys just pop on like so. Whoop. Pop inside these two slits. There's one. And then there's the other one. Right? And then this guy, he's just go right inside that. There's the chest. Whoop. So I'm sorry guys, let me do that again. You go inside these two slits right above the, the button you press for the sounds. And there he is. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's transform them. Oh, and then the same thing with Optimus Prime. You pop these guys off pretty easily, right? And then the same thing with Prime. He has a, he doesn't have, um, you can't, I don't think you can attach it back here when he's in robot mode, but there is, when he's in car mode, which we'll see, there is a slot here for his sword, which kind of basically just goes right in, in there, which is cool. Okay, so to transform them, just kind of these guys like so. 
Make sure these guys are attached together. And then this goes like, these guys go like that. This goes inside. Now, when you, when you uh, move these legs down, make sure the feet are down because if you try to do this, it's not gonna, it's, these parts aren't gonna fall down. So when you have to, when you do it, make sure it's like this and then connect it. Then it'll, then it'll come in like so. Other one too, if you try to do this, it won't fall down. You don't wanna break it. So you just wanna make sure it's, it's um, completely down, this piece, and it snaps into place. And there you go. There's Bumblebee. Whoa, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. And then let's see, let's get him back. Let's get him back again. Okay. Cool. Do this. Boom. You just kind of have to. There you go. And sometimes this top part doesn't um, doesn't stay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Press the button again, right, for sound effects. And then again with the sword, that should go. Oh, right here. So you can put this guy here for storage, right? So when you you know so you don't lose it, it's pretty cool. And then just take it out. Undo them. Like so now he doesn't want to transform. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on, what's going on with this thing? There we go. Okay, and then he's back together. So there you have it. I mean, overall, not bad. It's not my fit. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite Bumblebee figure, just for the simple fact that um, this gets annoying really fast when you're trying to move and just keeps hearing Autobots, Autobots, Autobots. So, but overall, not not too bad. Okay, let's wrap up. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. I just wanted to say a special shout out to Hasbro for sending me these free, hashtag free product. Thank you guys, as always. Love un unboxing your stuff, and I'm, I really appreciate you guys sending me stuff. My favorite overall between the two, I would have to go with Optimus. I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of either one. I would say probably they're close to thumbs down, just because, I don't know, they were they, they seem a little cheap. They, I mean, I know it's one step up from Rescue Bots and stuff like that, and they're not supposed to be as complex as the other ones, um, like the Studio Series and the other the other series. But there's just something about them. They, they're really, uh, I don't know. Like this one especially, you can't, I feel like it's always going to transform on you, right? From like car mode. So, um, but they are what they are. You know, they're supposed to be like 12 inch simple simple figures. Um, I wasn't a big fan that I couldn't test out the sounds on him. Um, but overall, I mean, you know, uh, they're definitely going to go in my Optimus and Bumblebee collection, which is cool. And I like that the heads move and stuff like that. So, um, should you pick them up? I would ask them for a birthday present, but I wouldn't spend your allowance on them. How's that? Is that, is that fair enough? Okay. So there you go, guys. I do like the accessories and stuff like that. Um, but there is my review of the Transformers, Bumblebee, Cyberverse Adventures, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee light and sounds and effects. Uh, I think these guys are like 12 inch figures. So there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching.